hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to see how to use a swing toolbar so here you are seeing a toolbar this one is the frame window and there are two toolbar the first toolbar is in the top portion of the frame and the bottom one is in the uh, uh, down portion of the frame window so here uh, we just implemented uh, event handler for only one button the procedure will be same for all other buttons in this video you will learn how to use J toolbar uh, swing class to create a toolbars like this then we will look at the rollover and floating property of the toolbar then image icon image icon we already use it a lot of time and if you see um, these are all the image icons that we use to display in the toolbar so here we use j button with the image icon so in the top toolbar you can see there are three uh, j button that comes with the image icon Similarly, in the bottom, we have three more J button. So, there are uh, variety of uh, overloaded constructor here we are constructing the j toolbar with the empty constructor in this example we will create the toolbar like this after that so our toolbar houses the j button but for j button we doesn't provide any label instead we create image icon instances and to the image icon instance constructor we will pass the path to the image icon so once image icon is constructed after constructing this image icon uh, to the button construction we will pass this image icon so now we have button a constructor that takes only one parameter which is nothing but image icon and that image icon knows what image to load and that we specified in a path when we are constructing the image icon so then in our toolbars add method we can pass this j button and you can call it multiple times one or n instance you can add it to the toolbar so if you call for five times with a different j button then the toolbar will display five buttons so the set floatable method is useful to move the toolbar wherever you want let's say this is our frame window so you can have toolbar anywhere you want with that floatable property so let's say the toolbar is added here with this uh, set floatable you can move this toolbar and you can place it towards the right so likewise you can dock the toolbar wherever you want or you can move it to the top or bottom so that's a set floatable when you set it to true when set floatable is true then you can float the toolbar towards the edge you can dock wherever you want so this method set rollover this will also accept either true or false so when this set rollover is set to true that means when there are multiple toolbar buttons and when you move your mouse cursor over the button this will show you a lighter animation when rollover is set to true otherwise that animation will not be shown that means um, the a, a focus rectangle or a 
focus related drawing will be done here so that uh, you can know that the current button is under focus when you move your uh, mouse cursor so when uh, this uh, rollover is set to false then you won't see those animation and uh, so you will see these two properties soon when we are writing the code or when we go to the demo so here is the quick uh, recap all you have to do is uh, first uh, you have to prepare the image icons for your uh, toolbar and uh, save it in a specific path c temp g temp or wherever you want so once the images are ready then you can uh, construct the image icons uh, so that image icon will uh, display here in the uh, toolbar toolbar button so once the image icon is ready then uh, you can actually construct the toolbar buttons here we actually use the j button and for the j button we use only the image icon but if you decide your image or the toolbar button should display image as well as label then you have to use the different version of constructor that will accept a string then this uh, image icon so you can use that constructor also but here in this example we are going to construct the j button with only image icon so after this we may call uh, add method multiple times so toolbar dot add toolbar instance dot add then we will create the j button one by one and we will make a call to add so that way we will keep on adding the j button so that's all so so before adding first we have to construct the toolbar after that we have to make a call to add method then we will experiment how this uh, set rotable and uh, set rollover uh, works but uh, these two are optional but here as part of the demo we will uh, uh, look into these two function also now it's a uh, demo time let's go to eclipse demo so here our uh, example is uh, ready here we have the initial skeleton so this example is from the very first video of this video series so here we just changed the class name swing toolbar example after that in each example we will change this set bounds as well as we will change the layout if it is required then here uh, we create the new uh, instance name swing toolbar example we are constructing the frame this is the frame which extends from j frame after that we are setting the visible property of the frame to true so this will show the frame set bounds all these stuffs are explained in the very first video now we will run this and it will show the swing toolbar demo and our frame window is ready now we will start implementing the toolbar stuff so if you see here in g temp i manually prepared these uh, uh, icons so you can use a notepad and you can create your own icons so the size is 24 by 24 pixel so you can see that dimension in the tool tip dimension shows a 24 pixel wide and 24 pixel height so that's how we created this using the uh, pen brush uh, uh, tools available we just uh, created this so this one taken from uh, somewhere in the system and uh, copied it to the 24 by 24 uh, uh, bitmap then saved it in a png format so we have six icon one is a cut copy and paste so these three we will use for one toolbar and this color red green blue this one we will use it for a second toolbar so our image icon class will construct by passing these images with this path so we already saw the location of the images 
So now what we do, we create image icons. It's from Java X dot swing package. For the image icon, we pass the uh, directory location gtemp and the image name is cut.png. Likewise, we create image icon for other uh, uh, five images. So now we have six image icon objects ready. Next, we will create the J button objects. So these J button objects are for a toolbox. So importing the J button from JavaX.swing package. And to this J button, we are passing the image icon instance which we created in code snippet 2. So there are six image icon. Now we created six uh, J button swing buttons. Next, we create our toolbar. So, so the first one is the clipboard toolbar. Second one is the color toolbar. First, we create the toolbar instance, J toolbar, and we are importing it from JavaX.swing package. So, once the J toolbar is constructed, we making we make a call to the add method of this uh, J toolbar then we will pass our toolbar buttons so there are three toolbar button cut copy paste and we are adding it to the uh, tv clip toolbar after that we are setting its float owl and rollover property to false similarly we create the next toolbar that's for color so our frame window is using the border layout so why we are using border layout here that will be well suited for the toolbox so what we can do we can use the border layouts left i mean the east west north south property to add the toolbar component so here toolbars are ready first we created a two toolbars and we added buttons to those toolbar now we will add these toolbars to our frame window and if you see we are adding the uh, clipboard copy toolbar towards north towards north and color toolbar towards the south of the frame window now it is time to execute and see how it looks You can see our frame window now displaying the toolbars. So this is top toolbar and this one is the bottom toolbar. And we haven't yet handled any click event. So before that, uh, we will change the cut copy paste toolbar roll our property to true and our color toolbar is having the rollover property as false now we will examine it so when i move my cursor towards this color toolbar nothing is happening there is no highlight but if i move it here you can see when my cursor is over the toolbar so a rollover action is taking place during the rollover the button focus is uh, showing that means it is glowing or uh, something is happening to the button to show that the button is in focus so that's a rollover now we will set floatable property also to true and if i run this you can see a gripper here why because for a uh, TB clip that means the clipboard toolbar we set a uh, floatable property to true so here um, the floatable property is false that means I can't move this uh, toolbar but uh, here when I go to this clipper I can move this and 
and you can see how it is changing the orientation if I move it towards the edge here. So the toolbar is moved towards the right. Now if I move it, I can move it towards the left or I can even keep it towards the top. So here if you see the toolbar is displayed as a individual dialog. But if you want to dock it, you have to use the gripper, not this title. So if I use the title, I cannot uh, uh, dock it towards the edge. So there are three unoccupied edge since it's a border layout. Uh, border layout cell will contain only one component. So here we already added one toolbar. We cannot add it here once again. But these three slots are free. So you can add wherever you want. So now we will handle an action event for uh, a sample toolbar button. Here I'm going to use it for a cut. So here is our J button, toolbar button we can say. Dot add action listener. The same way how you implement action listener for the normal button. The same way you have to implement here I am using the anonymous inner class technique so I am typing new spacebar then I am hitting the control spacebar in the keyboard. So Eclipse displays anonymous inner type so if I double click it it will provide this glitch and code. So here is where we have to write our handling code. We will simply use the J option pan to tell that the toolbar button is clicked. So choosing J option pan and show message dialog then uh, we are telling that cut button is clicked. So that's all here. In the next video, we will see how to add a combo box to the toolbar. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.